stage. They're gonna be the queen in the tortoise cage. All right, so like she said, we're gonna be cleaning the tortoise cage today. So what we're gonna be doing, we're gonna take all the substrate that we currently have in here. Um, there's a lot of hay over it, but we have repti bark in there right now. We're gonna be taking all of that out of there. And then we're gonna be putting this, this eco earth. So this is exactly what I put into the tortoise enclosure. Um, you can use it for just about any animal. It stays really dry. Uh, for the drier species and then also uh, it can retain moisture really well like I was saying out there Part of the reason I'm gonna put this in there is because it's a drier species that I have in that container I, I want a little bit drier substrate on the top at least for them it, Like I said, it will eventually dry out, but if you're misting it daily, it's not gonna dry out that bad So what you're gonna do, you're just gonna add a little bit of water And that should be enough A little bit more That should be enough and then you're just gonna sit there and wait. So let's get started. I have my shoes on. You have your shoes on? Uh-huh. That's good, that's good. Yeah. I think your shoes are on the wrong feet. Because it's okay. Because it's okay, all right. As long as you say it's okay. Huh. Look, that's two. Can you put this in that bucket? Uh-huh, this one? Yep, please, thank you. As you can see, we're all clean. I didn't get 100% of everything out, but that will do. All right. So now I'm gonna take this eco earth. I'm going to start putting it into the tank. Now, it is a little moist, it's gonna dry out, but this stuff remains, uh, retains humidity really, really well. So it'll probably take it a little bit to dry. Not an issue. The tortoises don't have an issue uh, with humidity. They are a more dry species, so they're Sulcata tortoises. They are just over a year old. And I just dropped some of this stuff. Mm. Huh? Yum. So we just finished getting all the substrate in here. Now I know some of you guys are going to be saying tortoises shouldn't be kept in tanks and everything like that. I totally agree. So right now these guys are pretty small. Um, I don't have the space made out for them outside just yet because I need to keep some sort of cover on them while they're outside. So. That's why I'm keeping them inside right now. If you know tortoises, if they can see out of anything, they will try to get through it, which definitely holds to be true. So right now I'm gonna go put their, their hide back in here so that they can get away from the light. There we go, I wanna kinda dig this part out so that they're able to go in here. I'll need to be cutting this to make this a little bit bigger 
my bigger tortoise, Raffy, he is almost, he's kind of outgrowing this hide. So I will need to come up with something to uh, help him better get in and out. Probably in a later video, actually. Now that I think about it, I'll probably make a video of that. Um, there's a couple of different things that I've seen that I can do to either make this hide better or to make a better hide for them. You know, who knows? Part of the fun of keeping all of these animals is making an enclosure for them, finding that perfect husbandry for them. Because if you're not taking care of them properly, they're not going to grow properly. They're not going to have the things that they need. You want to make sure that you're diversifying their diet um, to make sure that they have happy, healthy shell growth. I know that was a fault of mine at the very beginning. Um, probably should have done a little bit more research before I got these animals. I definitely recommend if you're going to be getting any sort of animal. I don't care if it's cat, dog, um, or whatever animal it is. You know, you want to get a lizard, you want to get any sort of reptile, you want to get a pot belly pig. I would definitely suggest for you to do all your research on those animals to make sure that you can provide the best type of enclosure for them. You always want to make sure that these tortoises have access to fresh, clean water. What the animals are trying to do in the desert, like they're consistently looking for water, consistently looking for food. So make sure to have that readily available to them. You don't want to run into an issue where your tortoise is dehydrated. I like to put a couple stones in here that really gives them a little bit hotter of a basking spot and then also it works for a really nice like food spot because you really don't want them eating this stuff just for safety precautions anytime you're going to be feeding them like romaine lettuce um, anything that can have moisture to it you really don't want them picking up whatever else is out um, in the substrate or anything like that. That could really clog their digestive system, really mess with them. As you can see, another stone. This one is generally the one that I feed them on. Who knows? I think, uh, I think I actually might get a plant or two to put in here. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Do you guys think that I should put some vegetation in here somewhere to make it a little more naturalistic? So, get our handy dandy lid. Alright guys. And that really concludes today's video. We did an awesome thing for the tortoises. Also, it's really fun making their, making their habitat. Like I said, let me know if you guys think I should get some veg vegetation in here somewhere. I don't know. Maybe I should. Maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I should start working on their outdoor enclosure. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. And we will see you next time. Again, this is Jacob. Um, I just love animals. Uh, I love motivation. I love motivating you guys, inspiring you guys. I really believe anybody can have, do, or be anything that they want in this world. Anything that they want in life. I believe in you. You should believe in yourself. You know, we will see you next time. This is Jacob Sutherland again coming at you. And this is Jacob Ventures. See you later.